I originally picked Monsters Ball to watch for my Heath Ledger tribute video because, well, I just looked up a bunch of Heath Ledger movies and saw that he was in this and said, all right, I will watch Monsters Ball for the first time ever. But now after watching it, not only is he barely in the movie, but now I want chocolate ice cream. <laughs> Hello, hello, what's up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I am here continuing my Heath Ledger uh, tribute reviews with Monsters Ball. Monsters Ball is a 2001 film that is directed by Mark Forster. And the plot is we follow Billy Bob Thornton, who plays Hank. He works as a correctional officer at this prison. His son, Heath Ledger, as Sonny, he too works there. And, and after putting this one inmate uh, to the death penalty, Billy Bob ends up meeting that guy's wife. Not knowing, mind you, that there was a connection there, but... He, it, he falls in love with this woman. This woman is Holly Berry. Now, the weird thing and the most messed up thing about this situation is that Billy Bob was a racist. Oops. Now, what I thought of Monsters Ball was... I enjoyed this movie. And I feel weird saying enjoy. I should preface that word with... This is a very good movie, so I enjoyed watching a very good movie. There, that makes a lot more sense. Billy Bob Thornton plays Hank, like I said, and he plays a racist, which I'm not saying that it was hard for me to buy him as that guy. For some reason, Billy Bob can pull that off, just being this angry guy who's unlikable, honestly, one of the most unlikable characters you'll ever see in a movie. He just was it, like, I didn't know if I could finish the movie, honestly. Seeing him and his father in the film, played by Peter Boyle, the two of them going back and forth, well, mostly the father, uh, talking about these black kids who keep coming on to his lawn and how he hates how the races are uh, mingling together. And then Billy Bob goes out there with a shotgun and scares the kids off. I'm like, Jesus. And then Heath Ledger, who plays Billy Bob's son, Sonny, he is nothing like that. He is friends with these kids. He has compassion. He's he's a good person, a good human being. And Billy Bob hates his son for that. Looks at him like he's weak, like he's a wuss. He keeps saying, you're just like your mother. And there's a scene where he just flips out on him and goes off and hits him and just yelling at him about how how weak he is. And then Heath Ledger, spoiler alert. Heath Ledger takes out a gun and in front of his father shoots himself in the chest, kills himself. And that was 30 minutes into the movie. I watched this film because I saw that Heath Ledger was in the movie and I thought, cool, perfect. I'd always heard about this film, heard certain things about it, but I'd never seen it. So I thought, okay, Heath Ledger's in it. Perfect reason for me to finally watch it in remembrance for Heath Ledger, the 10 year anniversary. And when he killed himself a half hour in, I thought, what the fuck? Not only was I shocked, uh, just by how abrupt it was. But then I started to feel like sad and depressed because of his character and how he clearly didn't feel loved by not only his father, but from anybody. He was hooking up with this prostitute, but he would ask her after the fact, like, hey, do you want to talk? Do you want to get some like something to eat? He just, he was desperate for a human companionship. He didn't have that. His father hated him. In fact, before he shot himself, that's what his father said. I hate you. I've always hated you. And you could tell the look in his eyes. It broke him. At his funeral, his father says, I don't need the preacher to read anything. Just all I want to hear is the dirt go on to the coffin. What the fuck? The grandfather, uh, Peter Boyle, he's like, uh, the guy was weak anyways. At his funeral. So these are 
despicable characters, characters that I just was like, go away. And then, uh, you know, Billy Bob, he meets Holly Berry, who plays Letitia. Letitia, she has a son. Uh, the father is in prison. He was the one put on death row. And the father's played by Sean Combs. Puff Daddy himself, yes, P. Diddy, was was this inmate. And it was weird. I don't know if I could get past the fact that I was looking at P. Diddy as opposed to him playing this character. I guess he was all right. Seeing his death was a little intense, though. Holly Berry is struggling hard. She is. She won an Oscar for this movie. And some people laugh at that, make fun of her now, saying, I can't believe she won an Oscar. She didn't deserve it. All this stuff. I watched this movie, and I do think she deserved it. I thought she was great in the movie. I bought her as the southern woman who just, she was frustrated with the son because all he did was eat candy, sneak candy around the house. He was huge. And and she was, was struggling to get to her job. Billy Bob, you know, feels bad for her, starts driving her to and from work, and they develop a relationship, start hooking up, and start to fall in love. But there's so many issues and conflicts that go along the way, especially when Holly Berry goes to the house and meets the grandfather. Yeah, that, that goes just about the way you expect it to go. This movie played out, though. The story flowed like I was watching a true story. It's not a true story. It's apparently just fiction. But it just, I felt like I was watching a real thing. Even the way that it ends. It's like, it's not even like the happiest ending. It's just kind of like, hey, this is life. And this is how it goes. These events happen and then you just kind of make the best of it and go on. And, you know, there's a part of you that can say, all right, do I want to see a movie that is about, essentially about a, a, a wealthy white guy who meets this black woman who's poor and hey, he helps her out, he feels bad for her. Or the fact that he's a racist white guy who falls in love with a black woman, but let's be honest, it's Holly Berry. <laughs> or it's a woman that looks like Holly Berry. Of course she could make a racist guy wanna hook up with her. It's, it, it wasn't really this huge, impressive revelation to see Billy Bob turn around and fall in love with a black woman that looked like her. But either way, though, as a story, I thought it was interesting. It was fascinating. I was totally engrossed by the movie. The acting, I think, all the way around was great. I have no issues. I could have had those issues. They were in the back of my head at moments, but I, I decided to let that go. I enjoyed the movie for what it was. So, guys, let me know in the comments below if you, too, have seen Monsters Ball. What do you think of it? Do you like it? Do you have those issues? Are you floored that... Holly Berry won an Oscar for this. Are you sad like me that Heath Ledger wasn't in the movie more? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later! And God we trust, and it's a must that I won't